I should say our, you know, our primary user that we're focused on are data scientists. So we want to work with data scientists who, you know, maybe have some of these geospatial fields in their data that they're just not leveraging this way. And as you said, you know, make it really easy for them to experiment with it. Um, right now, you know, initially, I think we're focused on real estate use cases. Um, so things like pricing models or propensity to sell. And so we can build these sort of really localized features, like how many coffee shops or bus stops are there within 10 minutes walk? And how does that compare to other properties in the same zip code? Um, and one thing that we're finding there that's is super interesting for me is that sort of the, the features that matter in these pricing models from a geospatial fan standpoint really vary depending on the location where you are. So like if it, you're in New York or you're in Boston, the number of coffee shops or public transit stops within 10 minutes walk might be really uh, important within your modeling. Um, whereas if we were looking at a data set in Pinellas County, Florida, which is, you know, coastal Florida, um, and those didn't matter so much because things are much more spread out. But what did really matter was um, what is the amount of drivable area within 10 minutes? And that happened to be because the way the land is uh, situated, most of the sort of uh, pricier homes where the price per square foot is higher are out sort of on these, you know, spits of land where the drivable area is, is much less um, within 10 minutes. So, um, you know, everywhere you go, there are different features that matter. And it's really like our goal to sort of let people discover that and, and make that easy to discover because, um, you know, the geography is, is so heterogeneous, heterogeneous. So, um, you know, different features are going to matter in different places. Um, I think, you know, following on from real estate, we, we want to bring it to lots of different domains. Um, you know, I used to work in health, in healthcare and public health. Um, and, you know, the hospitals spend a lot of time trying to understand things like, you know, which patients are going to need support getting to their next appointment on time. Or, uh, you know, researchers looking at things like what are environmental factors of health? Like, are there factors of a child's environment that make it more likely for them to develop, develop asthma? Um, and so I think we can help a lot with those sorts of analyses. Um, there are things, there, there are problems in things like mobility. So if I'm a rideshare company, you know, how, what's, what's somebody willing to pay based on their start and end destination um, and sort of what types of places those are? Or if I'm a bike share company, you know, same thing, or how long do I expect the ride to be based on the start and end location? Um, I think even things like, you know, like e-commerce, if you're trying to do, you know, recommendation systems or understanding users, you know, can I find similarities between users based on the types of locations their IP addresses fall in uh, that I wasn't uncovering before? So I think there are just like, I think this geospatial data is really prevalent in a number of domains. And so I'm hoping that we can touch a lot of them.